Hello everybody, it's Tommy and welcome back to another create a sim for the Disney save. Today we are going to be adding one of the biggest Disney characters of all time. I'm very excited to be adding another Disney princess to the save file and today's video is going to be none other than Princess Belle from Beauty and the Beast so let's get started today. Belle's aspiration is nerd brain. Her traits are bookworm, creative, adventurous. Her spouse is Prince Adam slash the Beast, who will be in the next video. For Belle's career, we decided to go, or I guess I should say I established kind of this freelancer royalty career that I implemented with some of my Frozen characters, Anna and Elsa, and I do kind of want to have that be sort of the default for a lot of these royal characters, but for Belle, she just seems like even from the beginning, beginning of the Disney Saves creation, she would be a character that would be really, really involved as a royal. So a lot like Tiana, kind of giving her another additional career that allows her to be more amongst society and less of just like a generic royal. Politician, specifically the charity organizer branch, was recommended by one of my patrons and I really, really like that. It feels very bell to me that she would kind of give back to her community and be very involved in progressive society-based things like that. So we're probably going to go with something within the realm of those two ideas. Belle is extremely intelligent and a huge bookworm. She is both book smart and street smart after growing up in the village. Belle often finds herself more creative and open-minded than the people of the village. She's not a huge fan of the small-mindedness and simple lifestyle that a lot of them represent. She wants to invent, explore, and travel the world. Because of this, the villagers think Belle is a little odd. Despite this, Belle still tries her best to be very active in giving back to the village by opening libraries, bookstores, and running charity functions for those in need. Her newfound friends and family of the Enchanted Castle are a much better match for her mindset. The castle is filled with books and art to keep her brain occupied for days. Lumiere, the castle's maitre d', has become one of her closest friends. Her and Prince Adam do their best to be proper royalty to the people of Henford on Bagley, and they are generally well-liked and respected. She is, of course, going to be a part of our official Disney Princesses Club and if you'll remember previously from Willow Creek, she is also, I guess you could say, a co-owner of Chapter 3 Bookstore that we have there. The Enchantress actually runs that, but kind of built into the lore of the save file is that she has the Enchantress kind of running it. There's also a library in Willow Creek called The Fallen Rose that Belle has opened where she donated a lot of the books from the library in the Beast Castle so that they could be more used by the community and the villagers. She will, of course, live at Beast Castle, which is coming later down the line, probably in the next month or so here. Belle uses a lot of her free time reading books in the castle library. She's not very picky about genres. She'll read anything from fantasy to love stories, classic, and cookbooks. She enjoys creativity, knowledge, and expanding her vocabulary. Belle also enjoys singing and dancing, animals, and gardening. She's extremely active in the community, always working on new community buildings, encouraging schooling and reading programs by opening libraries and public spaces, and donating to the village in the form of new technology, funding, and updating buildings. She will be, like all of our other Disney princesses, a five-star celebrity with a pristine reputation. Now, as far as Belle's general look that I went for today, luckily, Cottage Living came in so handy for her clothing and her hair. I swear to you, somebody at EA or The Sims really uh, designed this hair that I've given her for most of her daily looks for her because in the color swatch of like her hair color, there is a bow and I really don't like when accessories are attached to hair because a lot of the times it just doesn't end up working out color wise. But in this like darker brown shade, the bow on the hairstyle is blue and it just matches the beautiful blue picnic-y dress from Cottage Living for like her basic village wear super, super well. Now, as far as her ball gown, her classic gold yellow dress goes, we did not have a lot of options. We never do. This is going to be a problem continuously with the Disney save is just these like voluminous, beautiful ball gowns that a lot of these characters are supposed to have are not available in the Sims 4 catalog. We are so limited, especially in a color like yellow. So I've given her two options. One of them is kind of like the base game wedding dress that happens to come in like an off gold color, which I think has a lot of the same properties as her dress, and I also liked that it had some volume to the skirt and, like, didn't hug her body. That was my big thing about the style and the cut of her dress. 
but one of my patrons actually recommended that we also give her the more French seemingly styled vampires yellow dress. So that is additionally added into one of her outfit options and you can see that at the end of the video when we kind of check out all of her other looks. And then luckily for us, Belle gets featured in quite a few outfits and looks throughout her movies. She has a winter look, she has a green dress that she's known for, a holiday like reddish dress. So I did my best to find a really good collection of all the outfits that she's shown wearing throughout the movies and then just matching up basically anything we had in the catalog that was both styled similarly and felt like it could fit in like that old timey villagey vibe and also still keeping it kind of like simple and very belle and elegant. And I think I'm pretty happy with the outfits that got chosen and all the uh, really bright colors and different variety for this character. She's a really big one, so I hope that you guys like her. I tried to make her as beautiful and soft and still resemble Belle as possible. So let me know what you think of her in the comment section down below. Stay tuned for the next creative sim, which will be the Beast. If you would like to support the Disney Save on Patreon, you can do so by clicking the link in my description box down below or the one at the end of the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Hit that little bell icon below to turn on post notifications so you can get updated every single time I post. And I will talk to you all in the next one.